And so as I now sign this proclamation in full view of our nation and the world at large, I am profoundly conscious of the tasks that remain, hoping that we shall not lose the momentum of our achievements so that those who shall come after us may carry the quest of a greater, a brighter world, a new society. I pray now and I ask you to pray with me, as I prayed eight years ago, that I am doing, that we are doing the right thing by our people. For the end of martial law does not mean the end of our efforts, of our needed reforms, of our struggles, of our sacrifices. The passing of the martial necessity does not carry with it the passing of all the burdens, especially the heavy ones. There will be more tests for our capacity, for our resiliency, our strength as a people. Together we must pass these tests. Surmount all crises. And so, as I have said, I sign in your presence, proclaiming the termination of the state of martial law throughout the Philippines. I say, we have just begun. We will now read the dispositive portion of this decree. Now therefore I, Ferdinand E. Marcos, President, Prime Minister of the Philippines by virtue of the powers vested in me by the Constitution, do hereby revoke Proclamation 1081, proclaiming a state of martial law in the Philippines, and Proclamation Number 1104 dated January 17th, 1973, declaring the continuation of martial law and proclaim the termination of the state of martial law throughout the Philippines, provided that the call to the armed forces of the Philippines to prevent or suppress lawless violence, insurrection, rebellion, and subversion shall continue to be in force and effect, and provided that in the two autonomous regions in Mindanao, upon the request of the residents thereof, the suspension of the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall continue, and in other places, the suspension of the privilege of the writ shall also continue with respect to persons at present detained, as well as others who may hereafter be similarly detained for the crimes of insurrection or rebellion, subversion, conspiracy or proposal to commit such crimes, and for all other crimes and offenses committed by them in furtherance or in the occasion thereof, or incident thereof or in connection therewith. General Order Number 8 is also hereby revoked, and the military tribunals created pursuant thereto are hereby dissolved. Pursuant to Article 17, Section 2, Paragraph 2 of the Constitution, all proclamations, orders, decrees, instructions, acts promulgated, issued and done by the incumbent president, constitute part of the law of the land and shall remain valid, legal, binding, and effective even after the lifting of martial law unless modified, revoked, superseded or altered by subsequent proclamations, orders, decrees, instructions, or other acts of the incumbent president or unless expressly and explicitly modified or repealed by the National Assembly or the Batasan Pambansa. In witness hereof, I have set my hand and caused the seal of the Republic to be affixed on the 17th day 
of January 1981. Thank you.